there dear viewers this is nefw playing dark souls 2 as usual last video i completed for all intents and purposes the um <clears throat> the crown of the sunken king dlc but i'm back here for a very specific reason it's to re-enter the king's memories now there's a very actually very good reason why i'm doing this and it is because Every time you get another one of the crowns, Dear King Vendrick has something new to say. <laughs> Seeker of fire, conqueror of dark. I too sought fire once. With fire, they say. A true king can harness the curse. A lie, but I knew no better. Seeker of fire, you know not the depth of dark within you. It grows deeper still, the more flame you covet. Flame. This wretched unraveled kingdom. I subdued the giants and claimed their strength so that I might step closer to fire. Drang Lake will fall, the fire will fade, and the souls of old will re emerge. With dark unshackled, a curse will be upon us, and men will take their true shape. Drang Lake will fall with and men. Yeah. I just. It's always just sad to just see, still him, see him still just standing there. Well. Might as well just use all these bones. I don't really have a use for them anymore. So yeah. Like you... Vendrick wanted to... Get rid of the curse. I mean... Noble goal. You know, right? But... Didn't work. Shit, shit got fucked. Ah, but enough about that stuff. Let's get to the next DLC. Oh yeah, I uh, I used the King's Soul and I got a shield. Cause, I don't know, fuck it. It's 100% uh, damage reduction, which is really nice. Um, now there are a few different... I hate you for more. What, have I told you that least recently? Because I do. You're all bastards. All of you. All of you motherfuckers. I can't roll! You... Damn it. Wait, no! Damn it! I still have the, uh, the poison resist ring on. How dare you go through my fucking shield? Stupid fucking fuck. I'm never happy when these stupid rap bastards show up. They are one of the worst things ever added to the uh, Skull of the First Sin. Unequivocally, equivocably, the worst. You can dress just like them, too. If you get our special asshole clothing. Oh, 
You can actually get it from straight. I think the Fort Warren are actually a thing that Aldia created in his efforts to um, get rid of the curse, I think. Hey, want to see the final boss? Right down there. Kind of. It's kind of the final boss. It isn't really. I don't think you can actually fight this that boss until the very-ish end? I don't know. Whatever. It's not easy being a queen. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. You know, this... Okay, out of all three of them, where it is... I'm sorry, I, I got... Ah, here we go. Much better. Out of the three DLCs, I say that this one has a look that I like, though... Which one do I like... Which one do I like less? Because I'm just gonna go out and just say, you know, Shulva is my is my fucking favorite. It is. There, nothing can compare to it. But I don't know which one I like less. This or Ivory King. I mean, Ivory King puts a bad taste in my mouth because I hate the final boss in that one. But, the, I do kind of like it. It's kind of nice and icy and cool. But I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the zone. And it has a lot of bullshit and a lot of bullshit. But the final boss is actually fucking cool, too. I mean, as much as I despise actually fighting it, it... It is actually stupid. It's, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool! I mean, there is some work put into these... into this DLC. Alright, I have to say, I like... Ugh, there's another one of the fucking things. Um, I, I will say that I like, I like this one more, because it has, it does actually have a far more, I don't want to say earthy feel, but mechanical. Very much not magical feel to it. And it's, I think it's kind of like a, really a U size 7? <laughs> It does certainly seem like a unique thing in this world, this game in general, actually. Treasure. I don't trust you. It's okay, I do trust you. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's something nice. I don't remember getting that. But yeah, I... I I have to go and say that as annoying as some of this area is, it's not completely annoying, and it does have cool bosses, and it has cool moments, and I enjoy it quite a bit, actually. It, but it is it does have to go second, because I, I do like the look of Shulva just a bit more. Wait, no, hold on. I completely forgot about this. I can cheese this room. The enemies in this place are difficult, unless you're a fucking cheater. And guess what, guys? I'm a fucking cheater.
fuck you. Fuck you and your fucking spinny ass. I don't have any sort of poise damage at all. Well, enemy, I hate them. They are stupid. Stupid and I hate them and they're stupid. And I hate them. And they're stupid. Uh, time to be a bastard. Wait, can't I cheese these guys? I swear I could. I swear to God I could. I swear to God. I swear to it. Wait, hold on. I should have maybe a little something? <laughs> Actually, hold on. If I'm gonna do that, I do. I've got. I better do it right. Hold on. You fucking idiot. Look at you, you putts. You moron. You mook. You piss brain. You fuck boy. Fuck you. <laughs> You're dead now. Dynafire. Yes! I'm invincible now. Wait, hold on. Yes! And luckily, once they're dead, they stay dead because they pick up their soul. Yeah, the enemies in this aren't that tough. They're actually really simple to beat, if I remember correctly. But they can be difficult if you if you let them gang up on you, and if you don't deal with um, the, uh, the 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 those things, the things you have to use the smelt budgets for. No. Fuck. Take off items that aren't health items when you don't... Ooh, that was smooth. That was smoother than I was expecting, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dance of Fire? Yeah, cool name. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool thing. Don't need it. I use magic as a secondary thing. Never primary. I always prefer to hit things with rock. Wire ahead. Ooh, yeah. God damn it, it's not... I don't need that. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Pally? Get right fucked. Boy, it's Talisman. Oh, yeah. It's kind of an obvious secret item. Oh, path right there. for rolling. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's fun. I like it. Solve it. Remember. Remember. 
Uh, hold on, what do I want? Do I want a boost of souls? I could do absorb HP from each defeated foe. That's not going to use anything. My enemies, left from behind, explodes and thresh. Old brain counter attack when damage is taken. And increase dexterity, lightning attack. Wait, what? Huh. I don't need that. Okay, let's just, let's just put this one on. I don't care. Uh, I, I really, I really, really want to beat the final boss. Would I call it the final boss? You know what, I think I will. I'm gonna call it the final boss of the area, because it is the toughest. Far and away, it's the toughest of them all. <laughs> Their only thing in life to do is die. Their only role in life. Well, I guess there's no use in trying to stop them. I do that because I care. Not because I'm an asshole. For the most part. I do it because I care. Not because I'm a fucking shit. Not because I'm a dick. Yeah, get fucked, you fuck. Fuck you. You fucking twat. <laughs> it's just funny. It's just funny. God, I'm <laughs> Oh shit. I was just about to go, you know what? I should probably hit those things and get rid of stuff on them. No, no, if I do that, then I will take damage, because I get hurt from that stuff. <laughs> I, I tend to forget that this sword actually has a uh, fire associated to it. Despite every time I attack, there is a fire effect added to... You know, I really want to play... <laughs> Just stand there. Just stand there and take it. Or you pick up an item. That's the real mark of man. Being able to just stand there and take an explosion to the face. I wish I was that. I'm gonna guess that there was someone who said, Oh no, it's... You better break it. Cestus. Hey, look. Ta da! Bonfire. Bonfire. Yep, there's no real purpose to going down there yet. Eh, might as well press forward just a bit more. Anami ahead. This is a piece. <laughs> that might as well be one. Might as well be. Because I hate it. It's, it's, it sucks and it's terrible. It sucks and it's terrible and that's why it sucks. It it's 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 mostly sucks because it's a tough ish enemy to fight. And I don't like fighting toughish enemies. I like fighting easy enemies. Enemies that die. Just by me standing there, going, hey. Enemies that will literally just kill themselves sooner than fight me. Oh shit! I used one to get one. 
Oh my god. Well, I'm saying that shot. Really? You, okay, sweet. Okay. That was pretty much my fault. I was going to say it was kind of my fault. No, it was almost entirely my fault. I absolutely despise having to hate that that big boy legit. Because he's not fair and he sucks. Wait, did the other guy already move away? I guess he... Damn it. It'd be fun. I would fight him in that large open room if there were no other enemies around. Which is mostly why I'm just doing this. Because it allows me to fight him in a large empty room with no enemies around. My best beef for a good time. Oh yeah. Then fuck you. You rotten arrow bastard. Well, you know what? This might. He knew exactly what I was gonna do and started doing it himself. Can't hate him. He's he's doing it. I forgot that 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 attack does actually damage enemies, doesn't it? Oh man. So, do I have any more fun, funky stories to tell? Oh, I learned today, yeah, today, about, um, I'm sorry, I had to remember what day it was for a second. But I learned today about a, uh, um, a new thing called, um, what, what was it called again? Uh, uh, virtual YouTube, uh, virtual vlogger. And it's just really bizarre thing because there are already kind of um uh virtual vloggers kind of I mean there, there are vloggers which have online kind of created personas but I didn't know it was a legitimately, like, 100% virtual blogger. And that's, that's kind of an interesting thing, actually. And, and, well, the reason why I know about it is because I watch a, uh, a show called Good Mythical Morning sometimes. It's just like, yeah, yeah. I, the, what I feel about Good Mythical Morning nowadays is a whole different can of worms, but yeah, I ain't that. I knew it was
But yeah, the the whole thing they were talking about was, oh man. I mean, comedy is a big part of their thing. Yeah, but one of the things is they'd like, um, one of the things they said was, oh, this is the future of YouTube. We're gonna be out of a job because. I mean. The thing, the weird thing is, is that they are, like, in their 40s, I think. They've been doing it for quite some time. Oh, my god, you suck. I'm always, it, they have, they have been doing it for, god, five years? I think they started in, like, 2000... 2012 is when they originally started doing it. I'm just thinking about it, and I just feel so fucking old. I feel so old. Why am I old? Damn it, my birthday's in a month. Ugh. I'm old. I mean, not as old as some people are, but... Oh, <laughs> real smart. I'm not as old as some people. And I'm not as young as others. Ugh. Okay, now. That's finished. I don't have to worry about that. For now. Uh, I'll stop this here. If you like what you saw, do not forget to like, favorite, and subscribe when you do. We'll continue through Broom Tower. Oof. Stretch. Ah, uh, but of course, until then, this is the NFW signing out.